Hello Trekkers, welcome to Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, where I'm answering the question, can I save time and money by leaving everything to the last minute and buying all of my trekking gear here in Tamil? Well, in this video, I'm giving you my recommendation on what to buy here versus what to buy at home, so you can save yourself the headache of buying the wrong thing, and you can save some money. Hey guys, Chase here from Tricking FAQs, keeping you informed and in shape for the mountains. And on this channel, I share with you my gear reviews, travel tips, as well as fitness advice specifically for trekking. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, let's get into the video. So one of the most common questions I get from trekkers who are coming here to Nepal is, should I do my shopping here in Kathmandu and is it gonna save me a little bit of money? Well, as always, the answer to, to that question isn't so simple and it really depends what type of gear you're talking about. But in general, unfortunately, the answer is no. Despite most outdoor gear brands having a manufacturing base here in Asia, the gear still ends up being cheaper by the time it gets to the US, Australia, UK and Europe go figure i mean if you go to the major stores here in Kathmandu, the big shiny ones with the official price tags you'll still end up paying more here than you would at home in a bricks and mortar store and 100 percent definitely you'll pay more here than you would by shopping online so if you're hoping to come here to Kathmandu to buy most of your gear here and expecting the same quality that you'd get at home whilst saving money I'm afraid you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. I mean, yeah, in theory, you could come here with nothing and buy the fake version of almost every item you need and initially save some money. Uh, that Gore-Tex jacket that you paid 1,800 rupees for is probably not gonna do so well once it starts raining. So the good news is there are some things here that you'll save money on and they are non-crucial items that your life doesn't directly depend on, and they're things that are low tech and simple where not much can go wrong. So I've compiled a trekking gear list that rates things in order of most important to buy at home through to things that you can totally buy here and get away with. So you can start shopping for the crucial things that you need now and worry about the other stuff when you get here. It also gives you a price guide of what is a good price to pay here in Nepalese rupees, so you know you're not going to be ripped off. Not that that's the way of Nepali culture, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. So that gear guide you can download right now via the link below, but I'm also going to go into the detail of some of those crucial items in this video. Kathmandu is great for buying any basic trekking clothing that doesn't have to be weatherproof. If you think shorts, pants, shirts, t-shirts, mid layers, hats, and perhaps even down jackets and down sleeping bags, but only if you have a really good eye for quality. Also add to that list some equipment like duffel bags, buffs, water bottles, sunglasses, and dare I say it, even trekking poles. Yeah, stay tuned for a video in the future where I'm reviewing a $30 pair of trekking poles that I bought here in Kathmandu. They're actually pretty good. Now all this gear I'm mentioning is relatively low stakes and it's low tech. It's not crucial stuff. If it fails, you're still probably going to survive. And they're things that you can definitely save some money on here if you're buying them in Kathmandu. Of course, you're probably better off with the real deal, but you're probably watching this video to save some money. So this is probably a path you want to go down. But choose your battles. The money that you save by buying cheap equipment here, you should be spending good dollars on the stuff that really matters. And that's what I'm going through next. And the top three are backpack, shoes, and socks. Okay, that last one might surprise you, but socks are incredibly important. I go into a little bit more detail in the gear guide with that one. So, other clothing you should buy at home that's high quality and is only going to cost you more money here. Gore-Tex jackets. Obviously, you'll find fake jackets here. Some will have the Gore-Tex label and will contain no waterproof membrane whatsoever and they will be completely useless in the rain. Others will have cheap Chinese grade Gore-Tex that might do the job, but personally I wouldn't risk it, especially if you're going on a serious trek. Also, anything that fits into the category of outdoor technology, think things like solar panels, external battery chargers, head torches, GPS watches, water filters, all these things are going to be much more expensive here than buying them at home or online. And also, a lot of this gear you'll want to test in the field and troubleshoot beforehand. So I recommend purchasing at home for those things. Finally, thermals, long johns, base layers, whatever you like to call them, whether you choose wool or polypropylene. Personally, I prefer wool, but it's up to you. 
you will find it difficult to find cheap versions of these at uh, the stores here in Kathmandu. So I recommend you buy those at home. And with your base layers, buy quality because it's your next to skin layer and you want to feel comfortable in it. You could be wearing it 24 seven. I've got a question for you, answer me this. Is fake gear really worth it? Have you had a good or bad experience in the past? Maybe something that surprised you and lasts forever or something that was a complete disaster? Connect with me in the comments and let me know. That's it for this video guys. If you have any more specific questions, please put them in the comments below or you can join our Facebook group, Trekking FAQs. There's a link in the description below. I hope this video helped. If it did, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming soon, just like this one. And if you have any ideas for future videos for me, please put them in the comments below. And I love getting your feedback. It really helps this new channel grow. Here's a couple more videos that you might find useful. And until next time, Trekking FAQs is keeping you informed and in shape for the mountains so you can have an incredible life-changing journey in the mountains. We'll see you in the next video.